Something a little cool here. We're at my nephew's birthday party and they're having a car show for him. So we got. All right, guys, we got my putting my brother to work here. He's never done metal working before, so we are learning. He's putting us all to shame already. And uh, <laughs> this is all new to me. This piece he's building here is going to go. We don't have a big enough metal brake, so I'm showing him how to do it with minimal tools. But we're building this. As you can see, the truck door for his truck has some rust action. So, do you like the rust on there or do you want to fix it? We'll, we'll take it out of there. Okay. So he, he teaches me to mountain bike and we'll teach him how to build trucks and stuff. <laughs> All right, guys, um, I got my dad and my brother Jordan down. My dad's enjoying the Tim Hortons over I'm being, there. I'm doing the hardest. <laughs> so when it comes to projects, we kind of help each other out. Jordan is really into biking on the mountain bike end. I just did vintage bikes. So he's taught me a lot about mountain biking. So today we're teaching him something new, how to build patches, how to do rust repair. We got his door from his 1978 F-150 Ranger XLT and I'll tell you right now guys you probably won't find a more solid original unrestored truck the rust on this truck there's nothing in the original places all we got is the bottom of the driver's door a little bit on the roof cab mounts frame everything's solid I'm pretty impressed with the find they had there so there's a little history maybe Jordan can tell you about it at some point but we're teaching Jordan today uh, this bottom of the door was rusted out so if me and him together have built this piece that slides in here. I've been teaching him how to do stuff with minimal tools because my shop has minimal tools. Um, we're gonna do a lap weld on the bottom here so that they're easier for a guy who hasn't welded before so I can teach him how to weld a little bit on there. But this piece fits in here. We'll finish up the final edge bending uh, once we get it all fitted up. So we're gonna get this thing welded on there now. Ready? Yeah. Oh, and go at your comfortable pace. Oh, That's okay. They, they say if you're a bad welder, you can be a good grinder. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, my brother here. I just taught him how to do spot welding because um, I know there are a couple of viewers who said my welding sucks. Now here's a thing that you may not know with auto body welding. You cannot run with a MIG on, we're using 18 gauge, you cannot run continuous bead. You got to separate them about, I go about an inch and a half to two inches and then you keep filling the gaps, you move across the panel. So yes, it won't look good, but if you want to warp your panels, be my guest, run a continuous pretty beat. So not trying to sound rude, that's just the, it's gotta be done that way. If you're running TIG, I'm thinking you can do it, control your heat a little better. But my brother has never welded before, so we're teaching him auto body welding. And so here he is filling the gaps right now and he's doing a really good job. So yeah. I set up the temperature for him and he's letting it rip. Once he's good with that, we'll probably get him in on his truck here. I think he wants to get a little bit of experience with that. So you guys can check out the fit of this panel. We're gonna tap these edges in once everything else is kind of tacked in place. And as I tap this in, this would pull funny. I think we've shown this before. I got the equivalent of, well, it's from Princess Auto. 
uh, shrinker stretcher and I was actually pretty impressed. I haven't used it a lot, but it worked great for that. All right, we got him on his own truck door now. This is his second spot on the truck, so here we go. And I've, I've kind of teaching him how to keep it tight to make better welds. And he's doing great, guys. Oh, I accidentally made this go too long. Right here, just on the middle. I think so. Is this a right or left-handed device? It's going, it's going, it's going. It's oh yeah, for you it's, he's lefty. Should I, should I hold? Right guys, this was rusted out. So we're gonna build, working on this patch here, I'm gonna weld her in place. Right guys, girls, we've got this welded in. My brother did all of these welds. I built this corner, you had to head out. So we built this corner here and got it straight as an arrow, probably straighter than the factory would have been. Put the hole back in here for mounting the clips. So we gotta do the other side now. Um, get that fixed up and it'll be good. We can then do body work on it. We're on day two of this project and we're basically building the bottom of the door because it's rusty and we want to make sure it doesn't come back. So he's built a patch here. We're going to cut off the old with the clamps on so we get it right. And then we'll remove the old steel and weld the new one in. All right, so Jordan and I have been working on this patch here that we're gonna do the whole length of the door. We figure it's easier to do it in two halves. So if he pulls it away, you can kind of see we've removed the old steel. This is all brand new underneath here. We did that last time we were hanging out. So we're gonna put some weld through primer in there and I'm gonna teach him how to do a butt weld. Are you excited? Excited. Nice. It's expensive, but it's probably the best you can get. The weld through coating by 3M. There's your part number, 05917. So we put it on the back side of our patch and the back side of the fresh metal there. And we'll do it under the folded lip as well. And that's the best you can do because you can't put normal primer on because it'll just burn off and you don't really have nullified the process there. So we got him welding the patch on here. And we're gonna spot weld and butt weld that into place. Truck. Let's see if we got some better light here. Where these are usually all rusted away. This is like brand new in here. No rust repair on that guy. Nothing. Look at that, eh? And that's the color he's going with now? The original color, yep. So yeah, I think you've been block sanding a bunch and prepping all the parts individually, hey? Every part has been done individually. Every part is straight. I spent, I spent uh, a good amount of time in there. This is the door. This is the one where we rebuilt the bottom, right? Yes, and it looks fantastic. We got the kids playing in the background. They're pretty happy. So all the body, is it? did we rebuild the whole bottom on this one? Yep. So yeah, he's already done all the body work. He needs a final block sand, I believe, right? Yeah. yeah. And then you look at this. So I wasn't sure about this color, guys. Well, Dad sets up the hood. Because this is what it looked like on the truck. I mean, it's up to my brother, ultimately. 
But look at the fade originally. This tailgate dad's gonna work next. But this is the original color and it's faded that much. And just to give you an idea how bad this, the paint was itself. To get this taped off, I've had to do very little work. And it's, it is, uh, I've done everything like this. There's been no machine on here. And then you get down. That's, that's a pour the paint on. That's for, is that Ford quality, just uh, so Tony knows, or? Ah, uh, it's just 40 year old. <laughs> and then, so every part has been done like that. Was there any rust on the hood? No. Well, just, just the, well, remember the paint was, was painted, eh? Yeah. Like down to nothing? Have you painted the back side? Yeah. Oh, he did too. There, look at that. That looks super. There you go. So yeah, what what's the plan after all this is painted? We want to paint the jams on the truck. And then we want to put it no. all back together. And then when you can afford the paint, we're going to be all ready for the block setting and once more in paint. Nice. Give me drive around in the black truck for a while. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, this is the kind of work my dad does. It's kind of where I get it from. You've seen it in other videos. But that's his ride there. That was a five year build kind of thing. And some of this is from the curb. I think if you tap them, the that's a nice body hammer you have there. Something a little cool here, we're at my nephew's birthday party and they're having a car show for him. So we got a couple of our family vehicles here. I got my Miata, my dad's Nova, my in-laws 56 Fairlane and my brother's 78 or 79 truck, the one we've been working on. And we'll get a little walk around to that yet. And we got a really cool truck back there. Um, it's Tony's truck. I'm not sure if he's ready to show it to the public, so we probably won't show much of it yet. So this car is all original, unrestored, and it actually was bought new by my wife's great-grandpa, the local dealership here. Original paint, original interior. Basically, this car, if it was raining, it wouldn't go to church on Sunday. And uh, you've seen Dad's Nova. So with all the work we've been doing on Jordan's truck, Dad's got it all in primer now. I think it's gonna be running like this for a little while. You wanna talk about it a little bit? It is all ready for paint. Inside's done. You can check it out. Colors are good. Original interior, guys. And that's the color it's going to be. We got the, or he's got the jams painted already. And this is the original. Take down to the. Pick it up for a second. There we go. Engine base done or what? Yeah, all done. Tony gets it next week. And he's doing some work on it, right? He's putting all new hoses, uh, be it heater, fuel, new fuel tank coming in. It, it, you thought it needed a fuel pump at one point? I put a fuel pump on. Uh, it just it just happened to be a, uh, just a small hole in the gas line. It doesn't work so good. <laughs> it sucks air better than it does fuel, right? So we just fixed that and it was ready to go. But we're putting the new tank on because it was sitting for so long. But that's an original. Right, right down to this. Nice little air conditioning piece here. Factory air in a 400. That's gonna work in short order too, I'm guessing, hey? It was already, it was already cooling. It was? Yeah. Is it charged up already? Uh, yes, it, he has it, right now I think it's overfilled. So he has to change it a bit. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah, so a sweet pair of old Fords here. And uh, that's my nephew there who's having the birthday. Are you excited for your car show? Yeah. yeah. 
to doing this all day though. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, that's hey, how do you feel about your truck? <laughs> I'm really excited about the truck. Nice. Looking good. <laughs> So I guess our next adventure is we got to take it mountain biking. Yeah, I got the tailgate pad in the garage there. Well, that yeah. came already? You betcha. Right on. Lost the bikes in the back. It'll be fun. Sweet. So yeah, we uh, like to do mountain biking, as you know. He's got a bit of a fun bike collection going on here. His shop is definitely meticulous compared to mine. Like, check out how he keeps his tools. So yeah, as far as uh, that truck goes, we're not really going to show much of it, but uh, if you want to see a feature on it, you probably should give a shout out in the comments. Um, all I'll say is it's probably one of the fastest vehicles in town here, even though it don't look like it. <laughs> so you can vouch for that. I, I also can. And all four smoking at the same time. <laughs> yeah, all four smoking at the same time. And it doesn't have seatbelts because it actually doesn't need it being the age that it is. But we're going to call that a wrap here on Jordan's build until we get to painting it. I guess when that comes along, we'll be on that. So until next time, guys, we'll talk to you later. Dead. I think Jordan originally wanted black too, right? He might not want you to paint it after a while. The driveway looks so cool though right now.